See, they have already developed a human space flight program. They have the International Space Station, and they are partnering with uh, uh, their companies like SpaceX and Axiom to do this human space flight. Today, they are doing the human space flight. So, we are we are asking uh, that we would like to fly in the International Space Station. It's an announcement uh, based on our Honorable Prime Minister and uh, President of US when they met. This idea was mooted, so we were taking it forward. And that's what the NASA chief said, that Indian astronauts will be flying to the National Space Station in an American way. So we, what uh, we are looking at this is, uh, what we are looking at is that uh, the whole program should be done in such a manner that it benefits us. Basically, we want our astronauts to get trained in a, at U.S. facilities. Uh, not only the astronauts, the astronaut handling, the medical team, the control team, etc. And also, they will get expo exposure for flying to International Space Station. So it will help us to make our Gaganyan program better. That's so, the plan. Uh, so what are the latest update of uh, Aditya? No, no, we will talk on that. This other other questions uh, related to the, Gagan, uh, the astronaut flight is very important. That uh, uh, We have already our astronauts uh, trained. They have been trained in various other facilities, and they are planning to fly in Gaganyan. So they are there. From that, we will be selecting our astronauts. How many of them, sir? No, our plan is to fly only one person to the International Space Station right now. For that, for that we, will, uh, we have already have four astronauts trained. From that, we may select two of them to go through a U.S. training, because every training is specific to the mission and the rocket and the flight that they are going to. So two of them will be trained, and finally, one will be selected for the flight. Okay. And for the space station, as you said, by 2028, you will be launching the space station. So the idea is like this, by 2028 we must have the first modular space station to be launched using our existing rockets. So the existing rockets have certain uh, capability, payload capability, 4 ton to 5 ton we can launch to geo and around 8 to 10 ton we can launch to low earth orbit. So that is the current capability. But if you really want to mo really send uh, space station modules, we need to spend almost 25 tons to space. So for that we need a bigger rocket to be developed. So that process always is starting. And by 2035, we'll be able to add additional modules and make it a fully functional, uh, man-rated space station where people can go, stay for a long time and work. That's the plan.